All right, so our goal here is to use the definition or laws of logarithms to simplify this until we can't go any further. So we'll zoom out a little bit. What can we do? Well, there's a lot of different things happening right here. My wishful thinking is to try to reuse uh, the base, let's say for this term, to rewrite 1024, and somehow use this base to rewrite 49, and I'm feeling hopeful because we have 1024, which is an even power of 2, and 49, which is at least a power of 7. So maybe there's a way to make it work with the square root of 7. Let's try it. So I know that 2 to the 10th is 1024. Is that useful? I don't know. But if I plug that in here, I can start to see that maybe it is quite helpful. Right? So we have 2 to the 10th, and then that's to the x. Right? This x implies, this exponent implies it's being that 1024 is being raised to that power and not, and not the whole logarithm. Okay, well then what can I do? Well, my law of exponents tells me I can multiply these two things. I have five times the log base two of two to the 20 X. And then I have another law that says I can take this exponent and bring it down in the front. So I get 20 X times five times the log base two of two. And what does that equal? Well, we got 20, we have, I wrote 20x, I don't know why I wrote that, sorry. That's 10x, right? 10 times x is 10x. And 10x times five is 50x, right? Times the log of two, base two of two. Log base two of two is just one because two to the first power is itself and that's 50x. Okay, so that, I'm feeling good about that. This is 50x. Minus, what can I do with this thing over here? Well, I have the square root of 7. Well, I know that if I take the square root of 7 and I square it, I get 7. And I know that 7 times 7 is 49. So I know that the square root of 7 squared, which is 7, times another square root of 7 squared is also 49. So what does that mean? Well, if I reuse that logic, I can rewrite this as the log base square root of 7 as of the square root of 7 to the fourth, right? That's what I'm seeing here, 4 square root of 7, to the x power. And this, if I bring this exponent in the front again, I get x times the log base 7 of the square root of 7 log base square root of seven of the square root of seven to the fourth. And this is just four because the square root of seven to the fourth is the square root of seven to the fourth. So altogether, that's just four X. So we have 50 X, we're subtracting four X and that's 56 X and that's our answer. All right, I hope that helped.